You won't believe the untold stories and hidden facts behind the civil rights movement in America. The civil rights movement resonates as a triumph of resilience, determination, and the unwavering pursuit of justice. Yet, for every milestone celebrated, there are untold stories and hidden facts that have languished in the shadows, waiting to be unveiled. Get ready for a mind-blowing voyage that will challenge your perceptions of this era and unveil the rich tapestry created by people who dared to envision a society with more justice. Greetings and welcome. I'm Carolyn A. from GettingToTheRoots.com. Here, we're all about uncovering and celebrating your unique family history. Together, we'll explore and honor the stories that define us. Let's dive in. How did the roots of the civil rights movement emerge from World War II and earlier struggles of African Americans in the U.S.? The civil rights movement, a profound era in American history, was significantly shaped not only by the aftermath of World War II, a war that championed democracy against tyranny, yet underscored glaring inequalities at home, but also by the centuries long struggle of African Americans for human rights since their arrival in the United States. As African American soldiers and other minorities fought for liberties abroad during the war, the hypocrisy of their disenfranchisement back home became glaringly evident. This stark contradiction fueled a burgeoning movement for civil rights as these veterans returned, determined to claim the freedoms they had defended with their lives. This movement was an extension of a continuous fight for equality that began from the earliest presence of Africans in America who resisted their bondage and systemic oppression from the onset. This ongoing resistance laid the foundational values for the mid-20th century civil rights campaigns, connecting the historical struggle for basic human rights with the more contemporary fight against institutionalized racial discrimination. This Supreme Court ruling which struck down racial segregation in public schools, marked a pivotal legal victory and ignited a series of actions that redefined the nation. Civil rights refer to the statutory rights intended to guarantee personal liberty and equal citizenship. This movement sought to secure these fundamental rights that had been systematically denied to African Americans. It evolved from a focus on basic legal standings to a comprehensive push for social justice influencing various spheres of American life and law. A landmark moment in the evolution of the civil rights movement came with the Supreme Court's 1954 decision in Brown v. the Board of Education of Topeka. This pivotal ruling declared state laws establishing separate public schools for black and white students to be unconstitutional, effectively overturning the separate but equal doctrine established by Plessy v. Ferguson. The decision was more than a legal victory. It was a societal declaration that segregation was inherently unequal and set a legal precedent that would challenge all forms of segregation across the country. The Brown decision did not bring immediate integration or widespread acceptance. Instead, it ignited a wave of resistance among opponents of desegregation, leading to a series of legal and social battles. However, it also motivated a new group of activists, strengthened ongoing movements, and provided a legal foundation for actions during the height of the civil rights movement in the 1960s. This case highlighted the power of judicial influence on societal norms and set the groundwork for the comprehensive activism that characterized the civil rights movement of the 1960s. If you find value in this video, please show your support by liking it, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. This aids in improving our visibility through YouTube's algorithm. Now, let's get back to our video. How did the civil rights movement challenge racial segregation in America? The civil rights movement was a multifaceted struggle for equality, and its key dynamics can be understood through its primary objectives, combating racial segregation. This fight targeted the Jim Crow laws and discriminatory practices that separated black Americans from white society and public spaces, like schools, transportation, and restaurants. 
Legislative victories like the Civil Rights Act of 1964 outlawed segregation at these facilities, dismantling the legal foundation of racial separation. My fellow Americans, I am about to sign into law the Civil Rights Act of 1964. I want to take this occasion to talk to you about what that law means to every American. 188 years ago this week, a small band of valiant men began a long struggle for freedom. Segregated schools and discriminatory hiring practices limited black Americans' social and economic mobility. This challenged the very ideals of a meritocratic society where hard work leads to success. Campaigns like the push for affirmative action aim to create a level playing field, ensuring opportunities weren't denied based on race. These objectives were interconnected. Desegregation provided black children with better educational opportunities, while economic equality, through fair employment practices, was necessary for full participation in society. Ultimately, the civil rights movement sought to ensure that the promise of liberty and justice for all applied to black Americans as well. Testing the Waters How did protest shape civil rights legislation? Montgomery Bus Boycott 1955 to 1956, sparked by Rosa Parks' refusal to give up her seat to a white passenger, the Montgomery bus boycott employed economic and political strategies to protest segregated seating on public buses. This boycott showcased the economic power and organizational capability of the black community in Montgomery, Alabama, leading to a U.S. Supreme Court decision that declared the Alabama and Montgomery laws requiring segregated buses unconstitutional. Little Rock Nine, 1957. Nine African American students enrolled at Little Rock Central High School in Arkansas faced severe resistance and hostility from white protesters, highlighting the clash between federal and state powers. President Eisenhower intervened by deploying federal troops to enforce integration and protect the students, an event widely covered by national and international media. Sit in Movement, 1960. This movement began when four black college students in Greensboro, North Carolina, sat at a segregated lunch counter at Woolworths and refused to leave after being denied service. The tactic spread rapidly, drawing national attention and leading to the desegregation of some public places. Freedom Rides, 1961. Interracial groups traveled by bus into the Deep South to challenge segregated interstate travel facilities. In order to protest segregated interstate travel facilities, racial groups made Freedom Rides trips by bus into the Deep South. The Freedom Rides sparked violent reactions, particularly in Alabama, where mobs beat riders and firebombed buses. This violence, widely publicized, embarrassed the federal government into enforcing desegregation laws more strictly. Birmingham Campaign, 1963 Organized by Martin Luther King Jr. and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, this campaign used nonviolent protests to challenge the city's segregation policies in Birmingham, Alabama. The national attention gained from police violence against peaceful protesters, including the use of fire hoses and attack dogs, pressured political leaders to push forward with civil rights legislation. March on Washington, 1963. This massive rally is most famous for Martin Luther King Jr., I Have a Dream speech. The march demonstrated widespread support for civil rights legislation and social equality, highlighting the urgency of civil rights amid global scrutiny over America's racial discrimination during the Cold War. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibited discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin, and ended racial segregation in schools, workplaces, and public facilities. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 aimed to overcome legal barriers that prevented African Americans from exercising their right to vote under the 15th Amendment. Selma to Montgomery, Marches, 
1965. These marches highlighted the struggle for voting rights and the power of peaceful protest. The first march, known as Bloody Sunday, was met with brutal law enforcement violence as marchers tried to cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge. The shocking media coverage galvanized national public opinion and contributed to the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Who were the key figures? Martin Luther King Jr. led the civil rights movement. Dr. King championed nonviolent resistance as a strategy for achieving social change. His leadership style was characterized by his charismatic oratory, his ability to unify diverse groups under the banner of racial equality, and his unwavering commitment to peaceful protest. His political strategy focused on civil disobedience, economic boycotts, and mass marches to raise awareness and pressure lawmakers for change. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam, unlike King's integrationist approach, the Nation of Islam advocated for creating a separate state or territory and self-sufficiency. They stressed racial pride and economic empowerment. Rosa Parks her refusal to give up her bus seat marked the beginning of the Montgomery bus boycott. John Lewis, a leader in the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and a prominent participant in the major civil rights campaigns, including the Freedom Rides and March on Washington. Thurgood Marshall, movement's chief counsel who led the Brown v. Board of Education case before becoming the first African-American U.S. Supreme Court Justice. Marshall. The first Negro to serve on the United States Supreme Court puts on his robes with the assistance of his wife. Who were the lesser-known leaders? The movement's success stemmed from the contributions of numerous individuals beyond the most recognized figures such as Ella Baker was foundational in forming the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and advocated for grassroots involvement, particularly by youth and women. Fannie Lou Hamer rose from a sharecropper to a key voice in voting rights and challenged the segregationist practices within the Democratic Party. Bayard Rustin, a strategist and organizer, played a critical role in the movement, including organizing the 1963 March on Washington. Diane Nash was a leader in the Nashville sit-ins, a key figure in the Freedom Rides, and influential in Martin Luther King Jr.'s participation in the Montgomery bus boycott. James Lawson provided essential training in nonviolent tactics and coordinated the Freedom Rides. Septima Clark significantly increased black voter registration through her citizenship schools. Fred Shuttlesworth initiated the Birmingham campaign and was a major figure in the fight against segregation, surviving multiple assassination attempts. Claudette Colvin was a precursor to Rosa Parks in challenging bus segregation in Montgomery. Joanne Robinson played a key role in initiating and sustaining the Montgomery bus boycott. Sikh T. Vivian was integral to the Freedom Rides and led various nonviolent actions closely collaborating with Martin Luther King, Jr. Amzie Moore boosted voter registration efforts in Mississippi and mentored emerging leaders like Fannie Lou Hamer. Constance Baker Motley was a groundbreaking African-American woman judge and drafted the complaint for the Brown v. Board of Education case, helping to end public school segregation. How did segregationists and politicians resist the civil rights movement? The civil rights movement faced staunch opposition from segregationists and politicians who were invested in maintaining the status quo. Segregationists employed a range of tactical countermeasures including violence, intimidation, and manipulation of the legal system to suppress activists and their efforts. Politicians, especially in the southern states, established and enforced Jim Crow laws to legalize racial segregation and disenfranchisement. These legislative measures were backed by local police enforcement and court institutions that were often involved in acts of oppression and violence against African Americans. 
This complex web of resistance required the civil rights movement to adopt a multifaceted approach, combining legal challenges, direct action, and widespread public engagement to achieve its goals. Diehard segregationists resorted to violence and intimidation to silence dissent. Brutal attacks on activists, bombings of churches and homes, and economic retaliation against those who participated in protests aimed to instill fear and discourage further action. They also manipulated the legal system, using legal loopholes and launching court cases to stall or overturn civil rights victories. Many politicians employed tactics like filibusters and lengthy speeches designed to block votes on civil rights bills in Congress. The civil rights movement secured landmark legal victories, but the road to true racial equality remains long. While segregation might be outlawed, more subtle forms of marginalization persist. Voter suppression tactics and housing discrimination create covert barriers, hindering black Americans' full enjoyment of civil rights. Achieving genuine equality requires constant vigilance against both, overt and covert attempts to limit equal rights and opportunities. It's an uphill battle, demanding ongoing efforts to dismantle these systemic obstacles. How did the fight for racial justice evolve after the legal victories of the civil rights movement? The civil rights movement served as a powerful catalyst for subsequent movements fighting for equality. Here are some key movements that emerged. Black Power Movement, 1960s to the 1970s. This movement emphasized black self-determination, cultural identity, and economic empowerment. It challenged white supremacy and advocated for black control over institutions within black communities. War on Drugs Movement Critique Ongoing While not a single movement, critiques of the war on drugs emerged as a response to its disproportionate impact on black communities. This critique highlights the racial profiling, mass incarceration, and devastation wrought on black families by drug policies. Movement for Police Brutality Reform, ongoing. This movement fights against excessive force and racial bias in policing. It seeks reforms in police training, accountability measures, and demilitarization of police forces. The Black Lives Matter movement is a prominent voice within this ongoing struggle. Movement for Reparations, ongoing. This movement seeks to address the historical and ongoing harms of slavery and systemic racism through various means, including financial compensation. These movements, along with others like black environmental justice movements, demonstrate the ongoing fight for racial equality. They address not just the dismantled legal segregation of the past, but also the subtler forms of oppression that continue to plague black communities in America. What can we do to help achieve equal rights in 2024? Educate and raise awareness. Continuously educate yourself and others about the history of racial injustice to foster understanding and support changes in policies and societal attitudes. Create and support African American businesses and initiatives. Promote economic equality by supporting Black-owned businesses and community programs to help close the racial wealth gap. Advocate for policy changes. Engage in the political process by voting and advocating for policies that dismantle systemic barriers affecting African Americans in areas like education, health care, and housing. Participate in local community actions. Contribute to local changes by joining or organizing events, protests, or discussions that can also impact broader societal norms. Continued vigilance. Commit to maintaining civil rights gains and actively address emerging forms of discrimination and marginalization. America's civil rights history, from the relentless efforts of early activists to the lasting influence on today's social justice movements, powerfully reminds us that equal rights and justice have not yet been fully achieved. We must continue the fight. Well, history seekers, that's a wrap on. Defying Injustice, the Civil Rights Movement Revealed.
If this video resonated with you, smash that like button and share it with your friends. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.